throwing for an acts of kindness. That's what the Children's Miracle Network of Hershey was doing today. Our Sarah Wilson joins us from the newsroom with details on how the event benefits kids right here in the mid-state. Sarah. Taylor, this was the first ever Hatchets for Hope event, and it was filled with lots of things like food, drinks, and games. But the day was ultimately about a lot more than just having fun. When Lydra Horton's daughter Daisy was born, she spent more time in the hospital than most. My daughter was a 27 weeker in the NICU at Hershey. Horton says if it wasn't for Children's Miracle Network Hershey, her daughter Daisy might not be here. So that's why she's here at the Hatchets for Hope event. Events like today's event, they do so much for families like mine. The Children's Miracle Network is hoping Sunday's event will help families like Horton's. We have hundreds of miracle kids that come into our program, and each and every single one of them are directly supported by the money here, and therefore the causes here that we support. The money raised going towards life-saving medical equipment that kids like Daisy can use. CMN provided the bed that helped her in those early days, and an event like this provides the money that funds those beds. Funds also contributing to research and more. All of the proceeds of the tickets are going to support Children's Miracle Network Hershey, which benefits everything from music and art therapy to uh, gifted meals to families who are so focused on the treatment of their kids that they can't, you know, really pay attention to their own food. But no matter where the money goes, Horton says she knows it will help a child who desperately needs it. We like to say that Children's Miracle Network helped Daisy do what Daisies do, and that is to grow. And if you weren't able to make it out to today's event, no worries. We have much more information on how you can help on our website, abc27.com. In the newsroom, Sarah Wilson, ABC 27 News. Taylor, back to you.